Hey, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to The Risk. I am the Grim Reaper, and I will be your host for tonight. Or today, depending on where you live. Anyways, guys, first off, I just wanted to say the channel has recently hit 10 subscribers, and I wanted to say thank you so much for that, guys. Thank you, guys. You have really motivated to me to make more videos. To some, 10 subs might not mean anything, but to me, 10 subscribers is life. Just thank you guys for pressing that subscribe button. And I'm using Screencast-O-Matic, and as you see, this 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 whole thing. Yeah, this is what I use for my uh, webcam videos when I do my computer. Use my computer, anyways. So I'm going to be reacting to funny thirteen funny kid answer questions. What ended in 1896? 1895. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. All right. No, this one is really nice. Alright. Sorry guys, I'm probably going to have to. Okay. What do we call the science of classifying living things? Racist. <laughs> Racism. Really? Oh yeah, and the webcam thing? Um, I cannot really record anything just as a webcam and this, so this is the closest thing I could get, so if you see me flashing back and forth, this is why. <laughs> Racism, really, child? Whoever posted this, whoever actually wrote this down, dude. <laughs> Good job on that one. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, wow. Right? Greater than or less than? Or, 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 or. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. I mean, it, it did say right, greater than or less than, so you technically are not wrong. I mean, your answer is correct, but it's not what the teacher was looking for. Because teachers are douchebags. Trust me, I've experienced it. <sighs> Enough about that. Alright. Find X. Here it is. <laughs> well, this is nice. This one gets me every time. I see this on shirts, and like, all over... The internet, especially on shirts, my friend was once wearing a shirt that had this exact same thing uh, written on it. Well, not the exact same thing, but the shirt was really funny. Like, it really got me laughing. And this gets me every time. I laugh every single time of how adorable that is. Here it is. Wow, look at this kid's handwriting. Much better than mine, and where mine will ever get. Where was the Declaration of Independence signed? At the bottom? Oh my god, this kid, whoever answered this, good job to you. Like I said, you're not wrong, just not the answer the teachers were looking for. Okay, what's that? Man, I really should get glasses. You know what, I'm not going to be lazy for this video, I'm going to go get them. So stay tuned. Okay, this is slightly easier. Draw a plant cell and identify its most important parts. My glasses are fogging up. Oh, he literally drew a plant cell. A plant in the cell. And the most important parts are no windows and iron bars. Ah, oh, dude. Uh, you are not wrong. <laughs> wow, none of these are wrong. These are all correct. But just teachers are evil enough. Uh, because it's not what they're looking for. I mean, what you got against this, teachers? Why do you have to be like this? Why you no be cool? I actually did have one cool teacher. And he was in fifth grade. I'm not going to name anyone, but... Hey, if you are watching this... Not like you are, but if. Just, just in case. Okay, number seven is... Explain the phrase, free press. When your mum irons trousers for you. Oh my god! Oh god! No, this one's good though. This one, like I said, this one isn't wrong. It's really good. Wow! <laughs> when your mom irons trousers for you. No. These kids are going to places. Okay, for number eight, we got What is the highest frequency noise a human can register? Mariah Carey? Oh, this is evil. 
Well, I mean, it is, because... Have you even heard Mariah Carey? I'm not saying I like her, but I'm just saying. Oh, this is so... I, I'm so done with this, but no, I'm gonna go these 13 with you guys. With all of you. I'm sorry for smacking my microphone for all you headphone users. Okay. Describe the difference between 180 and 158. The difference between 180 and 158 is 22. Well, that's right. Try this. Explain how you found your answer in problem 4. Math. Just math. Like, that sounds like something I would answer in a test question. Please, I've done stuff like this. Which is why I wanted to make this video. No one asked me. I just wanted to because these are funny. Okay, like, how did you, how did you find your answers? Math. Like, what do you mean by math? Please explain. Math. Like, what do you mean by math? Well, you know that one thing you do with numbers? And then, like, when you subtract, multiply, whatever? Yeah, you know? Math! I'm not sure what I was trying to do there. Okay. For number 10? Yeah, this is number 10. Would you want to swim with this boy in the water? Circle yes or no. I'd actually circle or, just for the sake of it. Okay. Explain your answer. No, because there's trash in the water. Since there's trash in the water, why is this dumbass planning to swim in it? He's such a retard. Seriously. Who would swim? Actually, I would. No, in case you guys don't know, I do have hydrophobia, so uh, swimming is not for me. Okay, no, because there's trash in the water, and he's chubby. <laughs> oh my god, why has that got me so bad? First off, he spelled chubby wrong, it's two bees, but still. Uh, this one's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is number eleven. Unscramble the words to make a sentence. Uh, to make a sentence about each sentence, you don't. Oh, never mind. I was going to say you don't use sentence twice in one sentence. Is pen in goat my a? My pen is in a goat. My pen is in a goat, so one sec So what you're trying to say is that my pen is in a goat. This thing is inside of a goat? Yeah, what were you guys gonna think I was gonna say? Seriously, many people in this world, man, such dirty minds. It clearly says my pen is in a goat. My goat accidentally ate a pen, so now it's in it. <laughs> Alright. Solve equation. Okay, number 12 is solve equation. 1n sin x equals question mark. Okay, cross out the n's. I see what you did there, kid. This is really good, dude. Really good for you, man. I have to give this to you. These kids, man, such badasses. And finally, we have for number 13. Fill in the solutions, directions, reach each of the problem, and come up with a solution for each one. You fell on the ground and scratched your knee. Solutions. Get up and deal with it. Flawless, bro. Flawless. Just get up and deal with it. This kid is a badass. Seriously, though. Just get up and deal with it. I mean... Getting up, going, crying to your mother, trying to get a bandage, trying to get peroxide and everything. Come on, man. It's part of life. You fall, you must get, you just have to get up. That's all you do. If you fall down in a playground and scratch your knee, you don't go crying to your teacher. You don't go crying to mommy. You don't go crying to a cop. You simply get up and deal with it. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you liked it, give this video a big, blue, beautiful thumbs up. And if you like this video even more, please scroll a little bit lower and press that subscribe button. 
Yeah, you know the big red thing that says subscribe on it? Yeah, just hover your mouse or thumb, depending on what you're using, over it. And press it. It will make my day a lot. Again, thank you guys for these 10 subscribers. Uh, my special wasn't really that good, so which is why I'm trying to make videos that will actually entertain you guys. Hope you guys did really enjoy this video. If you guys want to see more of this, just write it down in these comments down below. And I still haven't seen any comments in my last video. Uh, no one has posted anything yet, but never someone does. So that's when their shout out comes. I hope you guys really did truly enjoy watching this video. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace out.